Today, we're discussing the latest on 3A slash Atlas, the first interstellar object to visit our solar system in six years. Since its discovery in early July 2025 by NASA's Atlas telescope, the scientific community has been energized. In just two months, the number of research papers on the object has skyrocketed from four to nearly 70. We are just days past its closest approach to the sun, its perihelion, which occurred on October 30th. This remarkable comet, traveling at 58 kilometers per second and potentially over 10 billion years old, holds profound secrets about the universe. The name 3A slash Atlas signifies it as the third major interstellar visitor discovered, following Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. But this one is different. It's faster and significantly older, with an estimated age between 3 and 11 billion years. This places its origin near the dawn of our own solar system. As it neared the sun, it revealed fascinating details. On July 21st, when it was still 446 million kilometers from Earth, the Hubble Space Telescope captured a key image. The background stars were streaked, vividly showing its incredible speed. More importantly, its coma, the dust and gas cloud around it, was seen in a distinct teardrop shape. This photo allowed scientists to calculate its true size, a diameter between 440 meters and 5.6 kilometers. This was much smaller than first thought. The bright object we initially saw was its massive dust cloud, not the nucleus itself. The James Webb Space Telescope quickly joined the observations. On August 6, a team analyzed its composition and found its coma to be exceptionally complex. Abnormally, while a comet's tail always points away from the sun, 3A Atlas was also ejecting a significant amount of dust towards the sun. A surprise finding also came from the test satellite, which discovered it had unknowingly imaged the comet much earlier, confirming it is far more active than anyone anticipated. Ground-based telescopes provided more clues. Scientists measured its spectrum and found cyanide emission features. By measuring the ratio of different molecules, they classified it as a carbon chain depleted comet. This unique chemical signature offers a direct glimpse into the primordial environment where it was born. A final breakthrough came from studying its light polarization. A team in Zurich published data showing a unique feature. In simple terms, the way it scatters light is unlike any comet or asteroid we have ever seen. It may belong to an entirely new class of celestial object. While the comet reached its closest point to the sun on October 30th, it is currently lost in the sun's glare. We must wait until early December for it to re-emerge. When it does, every major telescope on Earth will be watching, ready to uncover more of its mysteries.